Recently, there's been a debate in Dungeon Quest whether Mage or Warrior is better. So in this video, Brian and I will race to the highest level we can reach in under an hour, where he plays as a Mage and I play as a Warrior. But before we start, get this video to 1,000 likes if you want us to continue. And there we go, the challenge has officially started. So I'm going to be playing as a Warrior while Brian plays as a Mage. And for some reason, you do start out being a Warrior in the tutorial. So that is very interesting. Well, I believe playing as a Warrior and as a Mage are pretty balanced as of now because of the new revamps. They should for sure add an option where it says like mage or war and then you pick a side but if we even get to like pirate island or something i believe mage takes a huge turn and becomes way better so that's most likely why because as you guys probably know if you watch my other videos brian is kind of new to this game compared to me so we'll just see who wins but i guess the first dungeon we are gonna have to do as a warrior here so i might be cheating a little bit but uh, i can't do anything about it but because this is the first round and it is the tutorial we should be on a pretty similar page here all right there we go we are already level two and then we'll truly see which class is better in dungeon quest and there you go as you can see we already leveled to level three i do think that brian might have to be warrior for like the first round because well if you just look all we have is the bronze dagger and the fireball does like absolutely nothing so he might have a little bit of a hard start but yeah i'm not gonna lie i think we all know that mage is better than warrior especially with the new boss raids man come on there's like no competing this we should both reach the exact same level by the end of the round it's just whoever actually reaches the end first but as you can see i'm already approaching the end of the dungeon here hopefully brian isn't ahead of me right now all right there we go we are level four already and we are also nearing the end of the dungeon already and then we should get i think it's a blue axe but it could also be purple though i don't know i guess we'll see but as you can see i'm already on the final boss so let me go ahead and just take this guy down as quick as possible and then go upgrade that same axe which i just realized it might be over for brian because he doesn't get any mage stuff from the first round all right here we are at the sand golem with 300 hp i think we take him down quite easily but let's see yeah we do like a very decent amount of damage so uh yeah i'll take that any day but anyway the sand golem is dead and we reached level five so let me go ahead and get this axe already and move on yeah as you can see the same thing every single time actually it's really inconvenient for me to get a warrior weapon on the first game all right anyways he's almost dead he just needs a few more hits and there we go we just leveled up to level five and yeah we did get a purple axe but that is warrior so please tell me i can't switch my weapons all right so i'm back in lobby and it looks like brian isn't here yet which either means he's ahead of me or i'm way ahead of him because it shouldn't be that hard and boom there we go we already completed a quest so let me go ahead and just add my skill points and hold on before i do any of that let me go ahead and claim the free boost i need to do that as quick as possible boom there we go now we have one hour of boost let me go ahead and play medium mode this time wait where is the one? Oh, it's right here yeah i think we are gonna have to switch to mage right here all right this is definitely where elias has the advantage on me because he's rocking a purple axe right now and i'm still on the starter one and if you're wondering why i'm not claiming the quest yet i think i might save it because if i claim it now then it might be a little bit of a waste and do like no damage bro are you kidding me oh this is gonna be painful man but there we go we should be doing way more damage and getting so much more xp now that we have an xp boost yeah bro this is not good yeah already level seven level eight and level nine but now this time we actually have to fight the sand scorpion all right there we go we're level seven and another thing with the quest is that if I don't reach hard mode by the end of this round, then I might just have to use a quest, even though I believe we'll reach it. At least is for sure ahead of me right now, bro. This is actually bad. I have to hope I get something major. And there we go, level 11. All right, so this one does have the sand scorpion, and it's going to take me such an insane amount of time to take this guy out. Okay, there we go. I added all my skill points. It's kind of hard to remember to add them when you level up after like every single group of mobs. Oh, that is so annoying. Now, how much damage would I do if I just equip this guy right here? Oh, that is so much better. All right, I might be cheating here, but like, come on now. Otherwise, it's actually impossible. And I'm still in this tutorial, so technically, I'm I'm not cheating, I think. All right, there we go. We just leveled up to level eight, and I'm going to stick to my roots, actually. I'm just going to keep on the starter one because I want to prove that mage is the better class. Otherwise, I kind of would be cheating, I guess. And there we go. We leveled up to level nine nine already but there we go level 13 and we are on the sand golem now and i'm actually curious where brian is right now all right we are nearing the end of the dungeon here already i actually just have to cross my fingers and hope i get something mage otherwise it's actually over for me but there we go the sand golem is dead and we actually did reach level 15 so let me go ahead and see what i get and then move on to hard mode oh yo that is op all right there we go we just reached level 10 and we are here in the final room of the dungeon 
All right, here we go. Sand Golem. I think we take him down relatively easy, but I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, we do not do a lot of damage here. Okay, I'm back in the server again. It looks like I'm still alone here. I wonder if Brian is just joining a public server or something because that might actually be why I'm not seeing him here. But let me go ahead and just upgrade a bunch of this new stuff and move instantly onto hard mode. Oh, no. I have to do medium mode. Are you serious? Bro, he just hit me once and I'm already like almost half health. Are you kidding me, bro? All right, he is also down to half health, so I might be able to beat this. All right, he's down to 1,000 health, and I'm down to 37, so hopefully I beat this. Oh, bro, this is taking so long. Like, what are the chances Elias is level 15 right now? I'm 1 HP, bro. Are you kidding me? I just... No, I just died. Oh, that is so bad. There's no way I just died. How am I going to ever come back from this then? Oh, this is really bad. All right, I'm finally on the sand golem. So I can finally be done with medium mode already and just move on to hard mode. So let me just kill him real quick. See what I get. That is terrible. I have to do all of that again, bro. At least it's like two games ahead of me at this point. And there we go. He's dead. We leveled up to level 19. We've also had another quest defeated right here. So let's just see what we get. And oh, that is perfect. All right, there we go. We're level 11. Now, would it be cheating if I use the warrior weapon while being a mage? Because, you know, technically I am still a mage right now. So if I use this axe, would that be considered cheating? Probably just upgrade the rest of this warrior armor and then use this guardian helmet and move instantly onto hard mode. So let me go ahead and create it. And boom, there we go. These mobs still shouldn't be a problem though because I do so much damage, hopefully. And yeah, there we go. We can just, of course, one-shot them and we leveled up to level 20. We even got the novice title. There is no way Brian is ahead of me right now. And there we go. We are level 12. There we go. We're beginning to level up after like every single group of mobs again. I'm still not sure when I should collect my quests though because Brian could easily be ahead of me because of the quests. However, at the end, if I collect them, I might be higher than him. I'm not sure. Then again, the quest just could get him to Winter Outpost faster than me, so I'm not sure if what I'm doing here is too smart. I might just have to like collect one of them at one point. But yeah, even the Sand Scorpion just goes down so easily. There we go. Level 23. All right. Again, we are nearing the end of the dungeon here and we just reached level 13. So hopefully we can get something good and mage from this game. Otherwise, I'm actually cooked. All right. We are here at the Sand Scorpion with two and a half thousand health. But there we go. Level 25. Come on. Hopefully I can reach level 30 by the end of this round. I just need to be as quick as possible here. We're level 25, nearly 26. And on the final boss, I guess I'll just claim a reward real quick. There we go, level 26. Now, hopefully that gets us a little bit closer. I'll just have to see, but let me go ahead and kill this guy already. All right, come on. He's almost dead. And there we go. He is down. Please give me something good. Is that mage? Of course it's warrior, man. Oh. And there we go. Level 27 as well. Nearly 28. So not quite 30, which means I'll have to do another round. Let me just see what I get. Okay. To be honest, nothing too useful. Actually, that might be a better weapon. Okay. Yes, it is. All right. Well, either way, I am going to upgrade it into being mage so i should do a little bit more mage damage all right spend all spell there we go let me just equip it real quick there we go all right so now technically i am still a mage but i am using war weapons and gear but like at this point what defines a mage just like having all your skill points on spell power is like basically being a mage so i don't think i'm cheating right now all right let's see we should yeah level 28 already i do so much damage to these guys bro. i just need to get out of desert temple already all right there we go we just reached level 15 i bet elias is so much further ahead of me depending where i level up i might just have to back out and immediately go into winter outpost all right well anyways we are here at the sand scorpion we should take this guy down fairly easily all right yeah we really do like a good amount of damage and there we go level 30 and level 16 but to be honest i'm pretty close to the end of the round so i think i might just finish it this might be a dumb mistake but i just want to see what else i can get not really too much can help right now but who knows if i get like another slam or something that could honestly help a ton as i'm a warrior and there aren't very many good warrior spells in winter outposts so i honestly need anything i can get at this point all right back at the sand golem please give me something mage this time and there we go he's dead and we even leveled up to level 31 Come on, let me just see what I get already, and then I'm leaving. Oh, okay, a warrior helmet. To be honest, that was kind of worth it. All right, let me quickly go ahead and upgrade that new helmet. Boom, there we go. I was able to max it as well. And now let me go ahead and do Winter Outpost. And here we are in Winter Outpost. 
lost. There's no way that Brian is ahead of me right now. I feel like I'm breezing through this entire challenge. We're only like 20 minutes in and I'm already level 31. And there we go. We're level 17. Please give me something mage. Come on. No, of course we get slammed, bro. This is actually terrible. Okay, but these mobs actually have a little bit more health. Even though I can still take them down pretty quickly, it is definitely a lot more difficult than Desert Temple. So I think I'm just going to start like grouping together the mobs. Hopefully that's like a smarter decision. Yeah, there we go. We're killing them all at once rather than doing one at a time. That should be saving so much time. Early game mage is actually so bad, bro. I am still going to fight. I have to win this, man. There we go. Level 33. Oh yeah, I do like no damage at this point, bro. This is like really, really bad. And level 34. I'm still leveling up like very frequently. So this is actually very good. All right, there we go. We just reached level 18. And boom, there we go. I'm already on the first boss. Now this guy I might have a little bit more trouble with because he actually has so much health. So I might be here for a little bit, especially for the fact that I got to wait when he goes under the ground. That's kind of annoying, but you know what? Let me just focus on getting this guy killed already. Oh, wait, we just got a Greg. He could help me out here a lot. I really needed that. Now let's just hope we can take him down here. All right, let's see. Let's get the coin. Please tell me I take him down. Oh yeah, we for sure do. Oh, this is going to help us so much. And there we go. Dead. Level 35 as well. All right, there we go. He's half health. One more coin and he should be down. All right, let me get the final coin over here. And I'm on the final room of this dungeon before the final boss, which if I'm being honest, is surprisingly difficult. So hopefully I can actually finish this round. But there we go, level 36 as well. And we got Greg. That is huge. And there we go. Okay, we got Guardian. Wait, why is this? Oh, I really thought. Okay, this is Mage at least. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Now hopefully I can actually kill him though, because if I can't kill him, then that's where this becomes a problem. But let me go ahead and collect the coin and kill this guy as quick as possible. Although he's giving free loot right now, I definitely need to worry about the time here. So let me go ahead and just kill this guy as quick as possible. And luckily we do so much damage to him. Yeah, there we go. He's already only like a sliver of his health left. All right, so we do a lot more damage as a mage now. But I am going to stick to all this warrior gear. So otherwise this is like impossible, bro. And there we go. He's dead. Uh, oh, okay. Three materials. Okay, why is that actually like very good? And there we go. We are level 20. But there we go. We're on the final boss. I think the only good thing we actually got from that was a sword or something, which let me actually check if it's better. Okay, not yet. I'd probably have to upgrade it. So let me go ahead and just complete this round already. All right, level 21. And boom, there we go. Final boss is dead and we got a warrior spell, but unfortunately a mage weapon. So I'll actually take that though. And here we are at the sand golem with 8.2k health. That is actually crazy. All right, we should still be able to take him down. And somehow I still have not encountered Brian in the lobby yet. So I actually have no clue whether he's ahead of me or not. Let me stop worrying about that. Let me go ahead and upgrade this weapon. Boom, there we go. Now we have a better weapon. Equip this spell. And we even have a heal spell if I need it. That is actually massive. That's going to help so much. All right, he's down to half health. And I believe after this round, we should have another quest to claim. But there we go, level 37. But like I was saying, I'm not too sure if I'm going to claim it or not. Because I might just have to save it. All right, the sand golem is almost dead here. A few more hits. And there we go, level 22. Give me something, mage. Come on. And oh, of course we get something, warrior man. Why not? There we go. With this new weapon, I'm doing so so much more damage. Oh, I just got one hour of free boost. Hold on. Let me instantly favorite the game. There we go. I actually don't know if this is allowed, but I'll take it either way. All right, let me upgrade all of my armor and stuff. This one, spend all. This one, and then this one, spend all. There we go. I should be a little bit stronger. I'm already on the Tundra Chimera. I'm actually doing this so easily. There's no way Brian is ahead of me right now. And this boss is so much easier now that I kill it so much quicker. All right, come on, bro. I actually have to lock in here because there's no way I'm winning this right now. All right, we just leveled up to level 23. And boom, there we go, level 39 as well. So hopefully I should be able to move on to medium mode after this. That's if I can level up one more time though. And if not, we'll also have a quest to claim. Level 24, and we just got Greg again. That is actually huge. Yeah, there we go, already on the final boss. And as you can see, I can't really get too close to him, but with this arcane barrage spell, I can hit him from so far away. That is actually so useful. All right, Greg, come on, give me something, mage. Got the first coin. Yeah, we are doing a really decent amount of damage here and there we go we just need one more coin and then he should be dead there we go he's dead and we reached level 40 oh no please don't be mage armor no that's mage robes oh my gosh and oh wait that's good that's good that's good we finally get mage spells and actually two mage weapons as well now it's comeback time well it looks like i'm moving on to medium mode with desert temple gear so hopefully this is just as easy as last time but it's definitely not going to be i just hope it's not too difficult and right off the bat we take so much damage oh no this is not good what whatsoever. Oh my gosh, I might already be dead here. There's no way. It's only the first room. Holy, okay. I'm just going to claim a quest because there's no way that I'm already taking this much damage. But there we go. Already level 42.
too as well and we are level 26 all right here at the final room of the dungeon and we are here at the sand golem now i'm pretty sure we take this guy down really really easily here oh no i already see there's an alpha tundra hunter those are so overpowered just by my health you can already tell that i already got hit so much by it look at that no please bro not those i actually hate those so much and i already know brian hates them just as much to be honest this might be a little bit of a waste of time but i think i'm just gonna heal up real quick and okay i did not realize it has a nine second cooldown this is kind of bad and he is dead there we go all right let's see what we get and oh wait that's mage as well and it is a guardian helmet though but we'll take that we'll take that to be honest it might have been smarter that i actually took them out here because that is such an enclosed little area right there it is so risky i'm not taking any chances by going in there but there we go we're on the first boss and let me go ahead and pin some of these quests just so i can like keep track a little bit all right let me instantly go ahead and upgrade every single thing i just got here all right so this one spend all on spell power oh and we're already through all of our coins yeah we should be good though okay there we go honestly might be another time waster but i'm healing again this is way too risky all right there we go now i can actually have a little bit more health all right yeah this is gonna be so much easier bro we one shot everything now but there we go i leveled up from the little wolves again that always happens they for some reason actually give a decent amount of xp and we just reached level 29 but yeah this boss has so much more health this time as you can just see it's already taking quite a while to kill it meaning we are one level away from being in winter outpost but there we go the boss is finally dead so i can actually continue and okay i'm not about to do this i just have to take these far away and there we go we are level 30 let me actually use the range oh my as you can see i'm already getting so low this is what i hate bro there's absolutely no space whatsoever meaning we can now do winter outpost listen bro i know i keep healing well i'm just gonna abuse the fact that i got it because i'm not taking any chances whatsoever yeah there we go now i can actually run into it and i'm already have health why do they do so much damage oh my might be dead again i'm just gonna heal bro i don't care at this point i might just keep this heal in my left slot to be honest it's actually helping quite a lot and there we go we're already level 31 that is crazy bro oh no 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 this is bad this is bad all right i actually gotta heal this time what am i doing bro i'm actually just spam healing right now it's mainly because of those alpha tundra hunters are so overpowered but there we go level 45 i guess i can switch back to slam now all right we have about 25 minutes left of the challenge and i'm still stuck here in desert temple bro i might have sold and boom there we go we're on the final boss 120,000 health bro this is gonna take so long to kill and there we go sand golem is dead and we get oh okay we do get a mage weapon but i don't think it's that good all right so i'm pretty sure you level up quite quickly in winter outpost so i'm not gonna claim my daily just yet let me actually just hop into a round and see how much damage we do okay i'm getting pretty low you know what i'm just gonna heal oh my gosh bro this is just way too overpowered i can't believe i actually got a heal all right let's see okay yeah yeah we do actually like a really reasonable amount of damage and we just leveled up to level 32 here and level 33 holy yeah this is going so fast but as you can see with the arcane barrage right there i can actually hit the boss from afar which is definitely really useful and there we go finally he's dead come on was that at least worth it oh there's no edge got a mage weapon and a guardian helmet and there we go we're already level 34 and that is level 35 that was insanely easy man and level 36 already and yes bro we got greg again come on bro hopefully i can kill him and hopefully i can actually get something good here let me just see how much damage are we doing oh this is gonna be close i can't lose to this guy bro please can i at least get half health yes there we go okay now he's actually defeatable and there we go no way we got all mage stuff please no that was so not worth it all right the first boss is down and we just leveled up to level 37 oh my gosh and i'm gonna have to heal here aren't i yep don't mind me just gonna quickly heal up because i already know those alpha tundra hunters are gonna get me bad i'm telling you guys bro these are actually like impossible attacks to dodge look at that hold on i might just actually keep my heal on just in case because there's no way i'm gonna die all right here we are at the final room of the dungeon before the final boss all right there we go i went ahead and took them down now i can switch back to slam and oh my gosh why did i you gotta be kidding me bro and we just leveled up to level 38 and here we are at the final boss all right well it looks like i'm collecting my daily reward because i desperately need it and oh okay firebomb i'll actually take that now, i'm actually not sure what i should replace that with i think i'm just gonna replace it with slam because i think arcane bra should be doing more damage but at the same time bro i desperately need some armor and i'm not getting anything from this i don't even know if i should do hardcore again you know what i'm just gonna do it anyway all right he's down to half health i feel like i'm doing pretty good right now so there's no way brian is ahead of me just because of that one loss all right so let me go ahead and quickly group these up and then test out firebomb and boom there we go it does so much damage as well oh my gosh that might have just saved me bro firebomb is actually op 
speed. Come on, hopefully I can get another one of these. If I can be running double firebomb, I'd actually be so strong. All right, he's almost dead. And there we go. And oh, I think that's mage. It is, it is. That's so chill. I'm actually kind of glad that they switched it over to warrior because if Brian had firebomb right now, I don't know what I'd be doing. All right, let me instantly go ahead and upgrade that guy just like that. Yeah, that's like twice as good as my weapon right now. Oh, and I just realized, complete all three quests to receive 15 minute luck potion. I should probably claim that, but to be honest, let me just wait until the end of the round just so I can like maximize it, I guess you could say. So let me upgrade this blue guardian piece right here. There we go. And now we should do a lot more damage. Yeah, bro, look at that. We almost one shot at this point. And we just reached level 39. There we go. Hopefully with this firebomb attack, we should be doing way more damage to the boss. And there we go. We just reached level 40. We have just unlocked the apprentice title. All right, honestly, I'm going in with a half heal right here. I'm just going to do my attack and then heal as soon as they do that one attack. Oh my gosh, that was close right there. See, that's what I mean. These guys are deadly, bro. But luckily, one more attack and boom, they are all dead, even level 49. So I should be able to go on to hard mode after this, but I desperately need armor if I want to beat it because there's no way I'm beating it with Desert Temple gear still. And even an easy mode weapon. Yeah, there's no chance. And here we are at the final room of the dungeon. And we just leveled up to level 42 already. And there we go. The final boss is dead. And there is no way we got even more mage stuff, bro. This is actually bad. I'm just gonna have to retry. And the final boss is dead. There we go. Oh, Wait, no, I think that's warrior. Okay, yeah, it is. That sucks. All right, now, honestly, I would just reset and go to hard mode as soon as I level up. But to be honest, I need whatever I can get from this round. So I might just have to stay the whole thing. This is looking bad, bro. I'm not getting anything good from these runs. Brian might actually just be in the lead right now. All right, here we are in our first game of medium. And it's very, very doable, but we don't do as much damage as we did in easy mode. So this is going to be a little bit tougher. But there we go, level 50. And yeah, I'm just going to finish the whole round because I desperately need need loot and oh my never mind if greg can give me something good here i might not need to stay the whole round all right there we go we leveled up to level 43 no way no this is bad bro this is actually really bad come on i need to be so quick here please bro i need this so desperately all right level 44 already okay he's pretty low please no 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 bro my cooldown's not even quick enough for the time we have oh my gosh i was so close and we still got nothing good you gotta be kidding me a guardian helmet and a bunch of mage gear bro i'm actually in shambles right now and there we go. The final boss is dead. Okay, a warrior helmet. Honestly, I'll take that. And I'm still yet to encounter Brian in a lobby, so I still have no idea if he's doing better than me or not. But let me just go ahead and quickly upgrade this helmet, and I guess just move on to hard mode. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do this, bro. All right, let me see. How difficult are these mobs? Okay, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I should be using Arcane Barrage. And he's only down to half health, bro. Are you kidding me? But there we go. I finally killed one group. Let me just switch over to Slam real quick. Come on, bro. Why does it take me so long to beat this guy? and i just died dang okay only 4k it does have a way shorter cooldown though i'm not sure which one i should be using all right come on bro at least give me something good this round and it's oh, of course it's warrior bro are you kidding me oh this sucks and bro i just realized only have five minutes left i'm not even sure if i'll be able to complete this entire dungeon first half was going so good and then as soon as i reached medium mode it all went downhill but there we go we leveled up the quests aren't even helping either if you guys aren't oh okay that might be why i just realized i never equip the luck potion i'm so stupid all right we have four and a half minutes left so let me just claim my daily please give me something good oh that just sucks bro why are they so strong bro i mean oh no you gotta be kidding me i didn't even put the helmet on bro are you serious okay bro i might actually be like worse than brian at this point for that one and i'm dead bro what am i doing all right level 48 there we go that was like a whole four minutes that it took just to kill like three groups of mobs bro i'm actually doing terrible right now and i'm not even close to completing any of these quests so if you guys aren't familiar with the quests, they actually lower the XP rate of what you actually get from rounds, basically, because the quests are meant to like substitute that. But in my opinion, they kind of just made it worse because I used to be able to get to level 60 every single time in an hour. And now I'm barely even getting to level 53, bro. All right, there we go. I have no time for this boss. So I'm going to reset and retry here. We have two and a half minutes left. Come on. All right, come on. Give me at least level 50 here. And there we go. All right, we at least reached level 50. That was so 
so bad, man. Okay, I just reached level 53, and that honestly might be the last level up of the challenge. All right, but every bit of XP counts right here. So I am going to keep going. All right, we have one more minute left. I think we can squeeze in one more level with that as well. There we go. Yes, that could actually be huge. All right, 40 more seconds, bro. It is actually just over. No, when we get Greg, I have to reset. I have to reset. All right, bro, we have under a minute. And honestly, it feels like I'm fighting a boss every single time I open up a new room because of how long it takes to kill the mobs. And I might be dead here, bro. No. Yeah, it's a lost cause, bro. Five, four, three, two, one. And the challenge is over, bro. And I got oh, to level 53. No you only got way. to level 51. Well, it looks like Warrior is better for now. Because if you guys want to see us continue this, get this video to 1,000 likes and make sure to subscribe.